What is going on, everybody? Let's take a look at WOPE. WOPE is a fairly new SEO tool that is a uh, rank tracker. Checks keywords, volume, search volume, competitors, where they're ranking for which keywords, and some more good stuff. Basically, for those that don't know about rank tracking tools, when you go to Google and you want to look for like a, a plumber, say in New York, this is what a rank tracker would do. It's, it will list where your website is on Google search. So what number listed basically. Now you can manually go through and do Google searches and constantly check where your keywords are ranking for on your site or on your competitor site, or you could use a tool like Wope that would simplify it for you, provide you with all the data in one spot. So they have launched Wope uh, this year and the launch was a little rough at first because I don't think they were ready for their AppSumo lifetime deal at the time. And the sudden increase in users kind of caused the platform to slow down in places, minor issues like that. But the team seemed to have fixed a lot of the problems and issues that users were reporting. And uh, yeah, so we could just check it out. Let's log in. So this is the Woke dashboard. It's very pretty really like it. And you can see here, this is the main performance page. You could change projects over here, top left. You could create projects up here. Let's say we want to create a project or basically creating a project is adding the URL, the website that you want to monitor. Let's do photo. And as I'm typing, you see it shows Bob's one hour photo. That's what I was looking for. Where do you want the location to be? The like United States. It will search for competitors or sites that it believes are competitors. Usually what I would do is do a search for these as well, just to double check, but you could select which competitors you'd like. Let's leave Bob's photography. Uh, Let's see, wedding wire, I guess for that, for some photography work. I guess we'll just do those for now. Uh, you could also manually enter any competitors. Hit continue. Now it's going to auto create keywords for your project, or you could choose from the suggestions, or you can manually add the keywords. Uh, I like to usually do this to choose, and then you'll see what keywords it, it recommends from your website and then also from the competitors. So you can go through here and you can search. It'll give you the search volume, which basically search volume is the estimate of how many people are searching for that keyword and the position that your website is currently ranking for that keyword. So it kind of gives you a preview. So I like to look for higher volumes usually like but this one's not bad. One hour photo studio. Quality one hour photo, professional headshots, long ions. You get the idea, right? And then maybe you want to pick some from over here. And then you'll see some weird keywords that these sites are ranking for. Greenwich weddings. All right. Track keywords. And then it'll put this together. It usually takes a little, little bit up to 15 minutes, they say, or you could just go ahead and continue to the project. Let's go to, for now, let's just go to loud egg and do the overview here. Just want to show you how to do the setup pretty easy. So you can see here, you have your traffic ads, value position, where you're ranking visual rank. Pixel rank, that's from how many pixels from the top showing up in the Google search, how, how far down your, your listing is in pixel measurement, visibility. You can change the dates up here. So right now I'm just doing the last uh, few days, but you can go back further. It, 
I believe it starts from when you've entered the project. So for me, it was the 15th of November. Therefore, it can't really go further back. So you usually go up to 15th. Sometimes if you get an error, if you if I did from the 15th to the, the 4th to today, it might show an error that you have to reload because it won't pull in today's data. It usually is a few days behind like any other rank tracking tool. So you just keep that in mind. You can change the views very easily. Down here, you have your winners, tags by traffic, positioning, the com competitor's market share. So how we're all lining up, like Adobe is really kicking some butt here. The other domains are over here. The blue would be me, a little tiny piece over there. So I have a lot of work to do on this website. Daily progress. You could see this, this tool is very visually appealing and the data is pretty accurate. You have to know the benchmarks for each of these SEO tools. Some of them are slightly different, so you have to get used to using them, compare with other tools, compare with Google manual searches, etc. cetera. Um, but this, this tool reminds me of another great SEO tool, Nozzle. And uh, yeah, Nozzle and Wope. Uh, there's some fun names out there when it comes to SEO tools. At least you're having fun. You know, SEOs, you got to have some fun. So this is like a light version of Nozzle, in my opinion, not light, technically dark, because both have the dark mode, which is awesome on, it's easy on the eyes, but light meaning Nozzle has a lot of data. If you've ever used it, it, it can be uh, intimidating a bit. So Wope kind of has that Nozzle feel, but it's, it's a little bit more simplified. I'm not saying Nozzle's, but Nozzle's great. I'm not saying it's, it's a bad tool. Nozzle's great, but you you got to go in there, go through each section, and it gives you all this data. It, it gives you probably more screens than Wope, but it's comparable. So again, another tool to check out Nozzle, but Wope gets it done. Uh, you can see position distribution. The bubbles are where each one is ranking in position-wise. Adobe's got that big spot again. Of course, they're Adobe. Now to performance. You want to see, okay, where are these keywords ranking? Now you can add the keywords up here. You could just do a list. You can import them. I usually just type them out each one per line, and then you add them. You can see here, it's showing positions for the dates that I requested, showing November 30th. So how to make a business card is over here. And it was at number four, it dropped down three, and then it'll show you these visual rank, pixel rank, visibility, traffic, ads, value, etc. So you can add, according to whichever uh, plan you're on, a subscription plan, you can add up to that many words. So you, you want to keep an eye on that. Another good thing about Whoop is a lot of keyword tracking tools will charge you a credit for mobile and for desktop. You want to see how your rankings are doing when people use a desktop their computer or a mobile on their phone. Now, usually you get hit for one credit for each. What Wope does is it combines both into one credit. So that, that'll save you credits. Now, when you go to analysis, let's go here. This is where the good stuff is. You'll see here, it gives you your volume. So you could see like how the, when people are searching for this keyword, an estimate, like how it's going. So you'd see now here, beginning of the year was kind of low, got lower, got lower in August. Now in the past, in the fall and going into December, it's shooting up. This is for US. This is for your global volume. What people are around the world, what kind of estimates you got there. SERP feature, cost per click, ads competition. Down here, we have the pages, how we're ranking. So this URL is that blue line right there. And then the competitors are over here. And you can see over the last few days, they dropped. Well, the athletic did. Looks like Amazon is right along with me. And then you could click if you just wanna see one of them. You don't have to put all of them. You could combine URLs into one, simplifies the view there. If you want to add another competitor, you can do that. You compare the SERP, then it shows a nice listing, where it's positioned, where it's ranking, the URL, the ups and downs. So you can really go through the data. 
SERP features, if it was listed on people also ask, photo pack, shopping pack, the SERP history, so you could see where it was on the 30th, on the 29th, on the 28th, depends what dates I put up in the calendar there. So you could see like what days, where it was, how much did it drop, where did it go, ups and downs. Some people like this. They, they really want to have everything prepared for their clients or for their own websites and really know what is going on and what happened and when did it go wrong and when did it improve. The preview of the search results. So you can see where the rank in there. Scroll down, see what the competitors are doing. Here's another one for the volume analytic. And you can see the seasons kind of takes that other view that we had there that was really small and it gives you a better view of things. So you can see by the month that people are searching a lot more now going into December. This has to do with NHL hockey. So it makes sense that it was slow. People were not searching as much, but then once, once hockey season kicked off and now we're in the, in the middle of hockey season, the volume shot up. So we got a lot of people. So you can use this data to decide when to do a campaign and when to create a page about the keyword to really push things. You could say, hey, oh, wow, I, I really got to focus on this page or make some more content, more cluster content for it to support it even more so I could rank even higher. Included keywords in the copy. Optimizer, here's the suggested keywords. So in the content, uh, it's showing what I have on the URL. I do not include the whole keyword, but I do have it in the title. Uh, I don't have it in the description. So maybe I want to think about that and work on that. Uh, Fisherman logo. I have it in the URL. I have it in the title, but I don't have a description. So this will give you another overview for some on-page work that you would like to do to improve uh, the page and the URL. Wope also gives you page speed insights. See how fast your site's loading, how it's performing, or how poorly it's performing. And then here's the content brief generator. A lot of people I've seen talking about Wope I just saying, wow, this is, a, this is a rank tracking tool. It's good for some keyword research. They're missing this part. This is something that I haven't seen much of, and I guess we'll see more of this in the future because now we're in this AI world where WOP will break down the keyword and give you an outline, an AI outline about the keyword to help you write an article and to create an article. So you can use this as a guide to help push that keyword, or say you're, you're trying to rank for a keyword. You don't even have a page for it. You're, you don't have no, you have nothing on your website. This will, will get you a nice head start. Now you could take this and you could copy it into chat GPT or even other AI tools like Zimwriter, Charlie, text builder. There's so many, whichever, what, what's your flavor of AI tool then use that. But you could just use uh, ChatGPT if you like for now. So you go down to the bottom here and you'd hit copy to clipboard. And then we'll open up ChatGPT, right? All right. So we're going to paste it. Let me move that out of the way. We're going to paste it right here. Okay. Now shift return. You could put the command underneath, but I guess we'll, we'll do it up top. Make a comp comprehensive plan to create content based on the following plan. Now you can prompt how you'd like. This is kind of like the standard way that Wope's doing it, but you can play around with this and word it differently. And I've been testing different ways, but Basically, this will take what will provide it in the content brief and have the AI think about it some more. So you see it's taking what it's there, kind of expanding on it, and it's still giving the amount of words that it wants each section to be. So it's really kind of nailing it down there. Now you can use this content. You can right away, if you're a writer, use this as a guide and just write off of this. If you want to write some more, we could write some more in ChatGPT or your AI tool, or you can pull this over into another AI tool, use it there. You can use this for social media posts or whatever you like, whatever your little heart desires. Now that we have that, 
you could say, please create content based on given word count allocations to make it comprehensive yet concise. So now it's writing the article. And of course, once you see all this, make sure you go through it, fact check it, and edit it. So that's a, a really cool part of WOPE, which is more unique than what some of the other tools have. So that's down here, the daily progress. You could see search volumes again, position trend, the green, I was at position one, November 27th. Then I went in the red, which is not too bad. I dropped down to four over the next few days. And that shows the positions here again, the averages, and you can analyze here again, like you could in the summary section. Here are the volume trends. This gives you another view of how the keyword is going month by month, the volumes, ups and downs. In your market, you can check your competitors. You can add them up here. I believe you get, I think it's up to five, but you can keep switching them in and out. And it'll show you again who's taking the bigger piece of the pie overall. If you add more keywords or change your keywords, this will obviously all change. So right now I'm the little blue, and then we have all these other guys. If you click on them, it will make them disappear. Click on it again, ads. If you hit the X, it'll remove it. This is for mobile rankings, this is for desktop rankings. So you gotta remember that. Then down here again, you could see it this way, how the competitor breakup is. It just gives you a couple different views. Some people more visual would like this. And down here, you actually have it in columns. Daily comparisons with the competitors. Now, again, you could add any competitor you want over here, or you could even start a project with a competitor and go from there. Uh, you can change the views. You can remove some of them if you just want to see what Maxpress is doing compared to Loud Egg, or if you just want to see Loud Egg. Actually, I guess we have to always have one for the competitor view. Again, you have everything down here. Switch competitors. Position distribution. You'll see this again. This website is taking up the top five spot. You can see how well it's doing. And then these little guys are at three and five. Design pickles down here. I'm not a, even on here because I'm not with the overall ranking, not doing well with these keywords. Also, Wope uh, just released a desktop app, so you can download that. That's over here. So if you just want to work locally and a little faster, you could download it for Mac or for Windows, and they have a mobile app coming soon. So if you like apps, that's a good thing. So really, this is pretty cool. The really nice looking platform. It's been working really great for me. Again, like I said in the beginning, a little bit rough. There's still some little problems here and there. There's something with the overview page. When I'm looking at all the projects, it was a little bit lagging, but the team, the support, they've been really good. Definitely check out the content brief part um, down here. It's not just a rank tracker, it has more to it. If you like combing through data and you like having a nice look, and if you wanna share it with your clients during a Zoom or a Google Meet, they'll be impressed with this. They'll be like, wow, that's really cool. And then you can, in this AI world, get a jump start with the content briefs. All right, so yeah, check out Wope, see what you think, and let me know. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.